hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i feel it's been like ages since i filmed a real estate kind of video cost of building a house in nigeria kind of video so i decided to come up with this one and i hope it interests you guys and i hope you guys find it informative yeah so that's been said if this is the first time of coming to my channel if this is the first time of seeing my face you're out welcome my name is Guma. I make videos around my lifestyle and do real estate kind of videos. If this sounds like something interested in, then feel free to browse through my channel. If you like what you see, please don't hesitate to hit the uh, subscribe button down below and remember to smash the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post any video. Then to you, my returnees, my ODs, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for your support and as you clicked on this video i definitely know that you probably want to build your house here in nigeria or in the nearest future in fact you're just planning to build a house right here in nigeria and this video is all you need i'm going to be telling you guys what you need to know before you start your building project and some of the tips i'll be mentioning will also help you to save cost so let's jump right into it after the daily hustles and all of those things, rent is one thing that costs a lot of money. Like, it, it's a huge part of one's savings. So, before you start your project, building project, there are few things that you actually need to be aware of in order to save you cost in the long run and also be aware of what will be happening during the time you'll be building your house. So, the first thing, obviously, the first thing that you need to do is the paperwork. By the paperwork, I'm not talking about the land because um, you've already acquired your land already before you start talking about um, drawings and all of that. If you want to know how to acquire a plot of land here are the things you need to know before you acquire a plot of land, then I have a video about that and I will link it up here. So go check it out. Do want to check it out. It's very, very informative. Then do in the paperwork, which is the first stage of building here in Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, anywhere which is basically the drawing you need to meet your architect to design give you a design or some in most cases a lot of you have um, a sketch that you will give to your architect which he will use to work with to provide your desired building design or building plan there are three four types of drawings that you need in order to start your building you need the architectural drawing you need a structural drawing you need an electrical drawing and a mechanical drawing. These are four basic drawings that you need, obviously, to start. I won't be talking about the other three. I think my emphasis will be on the architectural drawing. So that brings me to the first tip, the first thing you need to know before you start building a house. The first thing you need to do is ask questions. Yeah, ask questions. When uh, uh, your drawing is being produced, and obviously they'll be back and forth with your architect unless some people who actually cannot interpret a drawing who when an architect gives you a design or a plan it's very important even if you can't actually interpret a drawing it's very very important for you to ask questions and by asking questions what i mean is there are things in the drawing and you want to clarify oh so that uh, you have an idea of what your house will look like in most cases people ask for a 3d drawing and so it's very very important for you to ask questions. This will clarify you on your doubts. Don't because um I've noticed that a lot of people who do not who feel that they are disturbing the architect a lot wouldn't need to ask questions. No, you are paying for this service. So you ask with anything that is not clarified to you, anything that is not very clear, you have the right to tell the person to remove it. I don't like this, make an adjustment and all of that. So yeah, it's very very important for you to ask questions. Please, sorry about the background noise. My neighbor is fixing something, so you'll be hearing the noise. So, sorry. So, the next thing I want to quickly mention in this video is when building your house, use a professional. Because there are a lot of six o'clock engineers. You know? <laughs> sorry, that may be demeaning. <laughs> but it's what it is. There are lots of technicians, there are lots of uh, bricklayers who feel that probably they have been in this uh, industry for quite a long time. So they have the experience they need. They started calling themselves engineers or contractors or whatever. So it's very important for you to use a professional. Know the background of the contractor or the builder whom you'll be using for your project. Make sure that he or she is actually certified or 
has the right qualification. Using a professional ensures a satisfactory job and also it will save you costs because a lot of people think because these professionals may be quite expensive so they will prefer to um, go for all this um, a foreman or a technician or a medicine who is very experienced in order to do the job. No, please use a professional. It's very, very important and it will save you costs. And again, when you use a professional to do your work, you are very certain you, be, you won't be going back and forth. Like when you are already in stage four of your building or of your construction, because there's a mistake. So the next thing I want to mention is when building your house, you have to have, have an idea of the total cost of what your building project will actually cost you. Because it's quite important because there are a lot of um, engineers, builders who are, who really exploit their clients so you wouldn't want to um, be in that situation after hustling you know you will be exploited of your hard earned money so you wouldn't want that so it's uh, uh, advisable for you to meet a quantity surveyor so that they will quantify the cost of building your project they will give you a total cost just bear in mind that first of all before you go to a, uh, a quantity surveyor you must have your building plan at hand and again the cost in most cases is um, a little bit minus or plus from the actual estimate given to you. So it could be a little bit high or it could be a little bit less. But there's no way it will be exactly the accurate estimate given to you. But it's very, very important. So you have an idea of what materials will be needed, the quantity of materials will be needed, like cost of blocks, uh, um, charges of laborers and all of that. I have a comprehensive video of cost of building a house here in nigeria which, which in that video i made mention of um cost of blocks and all of that cost of chippings everything that you'll be needing i will also link the video up here so do where to check it out if you have not watched that video so it's very important for you to have an idea of the total amount you're going to spend so that you won't be exploited by some you know so that brings me to my next point using a quality material there are lots of substandard materials in the market and it's only a professional that can differentiate the difference between the good material and the not good quality material i don't want to use the word fake so it's very important for you to use a good uh building materials because when you use uh um not substandard materials then there's a tendency your projects may collapse and you wouldn't want that the next thing i want to mention is depending on where your property is your landed property is it's very important for you to conduct a soil test like if it's in a swampy area then obviously you need to conduct a soil, soil test to determine if the strength of the soil can actually carry uh, your building soil test is basically like the a test that is conducted to determine the solidity of the soil in which you intend to build your house so if the soil is not very strong enough then probably the type of building you want to build may not be approved especially if you intend to build a three deck four deck and all of those high rising buildings it's very very important to for you to do conduct a soil test in some cases if your house is in a swampy area then it's important for your engineer know this in case because some people do not know that especially these six o'clock engineers they do not know about raft foundation so they would just build and eventually will have a fee bus so it's very very important for you to do a soil test if you're building in a swampy area then ensure that your builder or your contractor does a, what is called a raft foundation that way it solidifies your build and give it more strength next thing i want to mention is building your house on stages when you are building a house it's very very important for you to plan on how you build your house especially of course you have to work hand in hand with your engineer because building your house stages that way you don't have to strain yourself so much in order to complete it there are some people who when building their houses they don't just plan they just dig up the uh, ground and start building without considering the financial involvement probably they must have seen a certain amount in, in their account and they feel like it will get them to a certain stage but when they are still like probably at this stage right now 
So the first stage is your uh, excavation to your DPC. That way, when you plan from excavation to your DPC, the next stage is from DPC probably to lintel up and or you cast it. Either you do it from DPC to lintel or you do it from DPC to the first deck. That is if it's a one-story building. You do it to the first deck. Then the next is from uh, the deck, the block work from the deck down to the roof, to the roofing level. So because you know that roofing is a project of its own, so you don't want to just do a roofing carcass and leave it. So you want to, whenever you are doing your roofing, it's better you, after the carcass, you cover it with your roofing sheet. And you, depending on the kind of roofing sheet you'll be using. So it's very important to plan your uh, building in stages. That way it will save you um, cost. Because I've seen houses where they've built from, you know, to a roofing stage and they've already uh, done the roofing carcass and they left it for years. You don't want to do that to your house because by the time you see that, by the time you come back to roof it, that wood will no longer be strong. So you'll have to, you know, put some adjustments and brace the old wood there because it's already dried up. So it's important for you to build in stages. So moving on, the next thing I want to let you know before you build your house is for you to have um, a payment arrangement with your engineer or contractor. Though some people prefer, depending on what arrangement you have with your engineer or contractor, you can pay probably 5% at, can just pay 5% of any level you guys got to, or you guys can just negotiate it, depending, just depending on what arrangement you have with your engineer. You can pay, but I know of paying like 5% of each stage. I also know of paying, also, some people pay, the people will prefer to pay their workers, like, the clients will prefer to pay the workers directly while the engineer just focus on his work. So you can also make that arrangement. You can also make the arrangement of your engineer or your contractor paying the workers while he's doing his work. You understand? So it depends on the arrangement you have. So check out the arrangement that works for you then go on with it. The next thing I want to say is from time to time, make sure that you go to your site to know what is going on there because some engineers they will leave your site and go to someone else's site and let the workers do whatever they want probably they was they will give instruction do this and do that but just know that these workers sometimes they behave like insane people no matter how busy you are from time to time go to your site to know how they are doing the level they have gotten to and you know take a tour around your building site to know the level of work they are doing how work is going and all of that so this will be the end of this video if you enjoyed this video of if or if you picked one or two from this video please give this video a huge thumbs up it's very very important for me and again remember to watch my arts because it's what encourages me to keep making content for you guys yes also remember to share my videos to your friends, your family who may be interested in this kind of video or probably they are planning to build your house. They may also pick one or two from this video. Yes. And to all of you who sent me a DM, who commented on my previous videos, the kind of videos they want me to make, I just want to tell you to relax. I'm working on those videos. Very soon I'll be posting them. So see you in my next video and stay safe.